happy new moon in Torres. This video is all about our new moon on May 19th, 2023 in Sidereal Torres. So stay tuned to hear all about this new moon. Hey, 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 my friend, Danny Simonis here, your spiritual healer, helping you find clarity on your spiritual journey. One of my favorite things to do is to help you remember who you are, why you came here. And we do that through the lens of astrology so that we can clear away those generational, societal, ancestral paradigms that no longer serve, which was my necklace was in there, no longer serve who you are. And my friend, we're healing the past, the present, and the future. All right, so this video is all about our new moon in Taurus. So let's dive in. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my screen. But before I do that, I do want to say, I want to talk a little bit about Taurus as we have entered Taurus season, my friend. On May 15th, our sun moved into the part of the sky that uh, Taurus is, where Taurus is in our sky. And so the sun is moving through that area and is reflecting that energy towards us. And if you're like, um, Danny, that was last month, uh, we are talking sidereal astrology. So we are looking at what is actually up in the sky right now. If we were to take a telescope and look out where the sun is, you'll see that it's actually transiting through the space of the sky that is ruled by the zodiac sign Taurus. So Taurus is an earth sign. It's a very grounded energy. And so it is such a reprieve from our fire energy that we just had with Aries, right? Aries is a fire energy. It's very dynamic. And so it's like, go, 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 do the thing. Let's take charge. Let's lead. Let's hustle. Let's push through. And Taurus is like, who can I catch my breath? Can, can we stop and smell the roses? That is definitely what Taurus is about. It's about slowing down. It's about the physical, tangible, material things in our life, in our world. It is a hardworking, disciplined sign that loves, 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 loves to enjoy the fruits of its labor. So Taurus is like, we've been working we've been doing some things. So let's celebrate. Let's slow it down. Let's review what's going on. Let's make sure we're on track. And Taurus really does rule the energy of money, our core values, our possessions, right? It's the way we seek stability in the physical world. And so, you know, this is why we're looking at physical, tangible things. And so as I share my screen here and we take a look at this particular new moon, every single new moon is different just as every single full moon, full moon is different. So you may see out there that it says, you know, new moon in Taurus, or I think our tropical friends are talking about, um, we would have moved into Gemini. So I think they're talking about Gemini and, you know, new moon in Gemini. And um, although that is true in the tropical system, it is not in the sidereal system. And so things are a little bit different uh, when we are talking about sidereal. So you may hear that out there, um, but even though we're talking about just Torres, we're talking about the alignments that this sun and this moon in this time are currently making to the other planets in our system. So we want to look at how they are being influenced right now, who they're hanging out with. It's like, what party did they go to and who are they connecting with at this party? Because that is what we're influenced. That is what's influencing us. And our new moon is always asking uh, something of us. And in this particular moon, new moon, I'm going to say that it is asking us to step into the reality of our vision. So let's dive in. So first things first, we um, will note here that this is taking place on May 19th, 2023 at 1053 AM. So this is Friday and this is central time. So adjust accordingly uh, to what may be going on with you and where you are in this beautiful I just, really, I just muted myself. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to click on something and it muted me. I was trying to change my mic. So you should be able to hear me better. 
I just want to check one other. I want to make sure that I'm on the correct mic. It doesn't look like it's coming through. Let me try. Okay. I think we're good. Hopefully that is working for us. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, if not, I'm going to re-record this video. Okay. So uh, let's see. So we said Friday central time, 1053 AM. All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to locate where the sun and the moon are. This dot right here that you can see, this is representing these two guys right here, this conjunction of the sun and the moon. And so they are three degrees Torres. And if we click on this, this is one of the things I love about Luna here, is we click on that and we can actually see more simplified of what is actually it's connecting with. And so who we're looking at, who is this new moon hanging out with? Who is the sun and the moon? They decided to have a party and everybody was invited, but they're just vibing with certain planets in certain ways. And in this particular vibe, this is like a totally supportive, uh, you like friends hanging out, helping each other, supporting each other, encouraging each other, motivating each other. And so this vibe of this new moon is very much like encouraging and supportive. Uh, it, it really is like this really beautiful vibe. And I say that because we've got this sextile here to Mars. We've got this trine here over to Pluto and we've got this sextile over to Neptune. And so those aspects, the sextile and the trine, they are very supportive energy. They're like, the energies are just merging so beautifully together. It's like peanut butter and jelly. They, they, uh, they, they complement each other very well, right? They're very supportive of each other. Yes. Peanut butter goes, hang, hangs out with banana sometimes. And, uh, yes, jelly goes and hangs out with butter sometimes, but they support each other in those ventures because they know they got a thing. And so, as we're looking at this particular uh, new moon, if we first we want to look at this Mars energy and this sextile to Mars, when we have the sun and the moon, it is very much supportive and passionate about work and play. And there's a lot of confidence boost here. Mars is really with, with the sun. It really is kind of like boosting our confidence. It's like Mars is like, you got this girl, go for it. You got this, right? It's really helping us tackle those difficult projects maybe that we've been putting off and not wanting to get into. And the sun with Mars is like, let's go do it. We can do this. We've got this, right? And so our personal relationships are going to benefit from this extra charisma and this extra warmth and charm. There's just this like really beautiful encouragement happening. The moon with Mars is like, it's like taking the lead. It's like, we can do this. Like, um, we're going to put the work in and people are going to respect us for it. It's like we're doing our thing and people are noticing. Now, it might not be the people who you want to notice, you know, like your boss, your friends, your parents. It might not be them, but they're going to be those people that see you, that are wanting like the best for you and that are like, there you go. You got this girl. Keep going. Keep at it. That is what this sun moon combination with Mars is. It is like that cheerleader in the background. Like we got this, let's do this. And it's pushing you up, right? It's really like helping you get up and take that next step. Now, Looking over here, we have Pluto. So we've, you know, normally when we see a new moon with Pluto, it's like, ooh, okay, because Pluto, very, very intense energy. It's very strong. It's very transformational. So there's this depth to Pluto. And so normally when we see this, it's like, oh man, okay, Pluto, what are you bringing to the table? But Pluto is coming in. He is coming in for those, like, it's not the, it's not the, the vibe at the party is supportive and Pluto's there to like, take it deeper. Like, so why do you really want that dream, Danny? Like, what is that dream about? And where did that, you know, where did that dream come from? And, you know, how do you plan on changing the world? Right. It's going deeper. It's like, it's, it's like hitting the core here. He, he wants to have those deeper conversations. And so, you know, he doesn't want any of the of the surface clutter. He's not there for that surface clutter. He's there to have to talk about the meanings. He's there to talk about the deeper stuff. And so with this, we might, this might feel more intense, right? It might 
feel like a more intense conversation, not so intense where you're like, whoa, I was being like, you know, detective status, like interrogation, right? Like what, like, where were you on the night of like, not, not like that. It's more of like, that really encouraging, like, I'm really interested and I want to go deeper. I want to take this deeper. I want to understand this more at the core, right? And so this is a really, really beautiful time to use our own natural power, our own natural influence over our life and other people. Really beautiful time to influence others and most importantly, ourselves. Pluto is here to like, say like hey let's let's take this let's get this so we've got mars like cheering us on like we got this girl let's go and do this and then we've got pluto who's like you you've got everything that you need like tell me the deeper reasons why and and share that and lead with that and run with that now the moon with that pluto energy we're gonna feel things more intensely, more powerfully, right? Allowing us to explore our feelings more. Yes, I said the word feelings. Feelings are beautiful, feelings are amazing. We definitely want to feel our feelings. And so there's more of a, an emotional sensitivity here. So even though Pluto is here helping us and encouraging us to dive deeper, right? There, it, it is a little, there, there can be a little softness to this. There can be a little intensity to this where it might feel um, a little bit harder than normal. But here, my friend, let me ask you, wouldn't you want to feel that little bit of uncomfortableness to be able to move through to the other side? right? To get through the thing, because everything that we want, that we desire, our goals and our dreams are on the other side, right? It's on the outside of our comfort zone. And Pluto is here to help us look at those deeper things, to clear them out of our way so that we can move forward. And he's here doing it in a really beautiful way. He's not, he's not trying to you know, destroy everything. You know, we're not talking about the tower card and tarot. He's not destroying everything, which destroy sometimes needs to happen. But this is not that energy. This is very, very supportive and encouraging energy. All right. So now let's look at our final uh, player here in our party. And we've got Neptune. Now, Neptune is in Pisces. He's been in Pisces for a bit. And, you know, it's its home place. So it's very comfortable here. And with this sextile here, there's a, 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 a beautiful sensitivity um, and even heightened intuition here. So very, very in tune with your intuition, your imagination, that creativity really is bringing up a beautiful time for us to visualize our dreams visualize our future and even upgrade it, right? Elevate what we're visioning because we've got Mars supporting us. We've got Pluto diving deeper into that meaning, giving us an opportunity to expand our vision, expand our dreams, expand our horizons. And so there's really, this is a, this is a, a new moon to step into the reality of those dreams, living them now, stepping into them now, taking the steps towards the goal. So this energy is really asking us, really pushing us to step into our dreams, to step into our reality and stop saying, I'm going to wait till Monday, right? Stop saying, I'm going to wait until this happens or that happens, but making the decision right now, the choice right now, the decision right now to do the thing. Yes, the thing outside of your comfort zone. All right, so this is a really, really beautiful time with that. With the moon, you, you may find that your intuition is on point. There may be some more uh, some sensitivity uh, to things, very sensitive. I've been finding I'm really sensitive to noise and to like too, too loud or too much, it's too chaotic. I was at a, a networking event earlier today and I was like, ooh, it was a lot, I had to get out of there. It was just a lot of energy, uh, a lot of different things going on. And I think it's just because people are excited, right? This is a very uh, exciting new moon and not in a, a dramatic way, but we're, we're talking about our dreams and our goals, my friend, right? We're talking about our visions. And so there's this really beautiful energy. It was just a little more than I uh, could handle this morning. And so I had to like, as soon as we were done, like step out 
And, and so you may be feeling that too. You might be a little bit more sensitive. I would definitely recommend um, my two favorite essential oils to use on the daily. I don't actually have the other one here, but lemongrass to clear your energy, just to drop on top of your head, your crown chakra. And then some tea tree. I learned this from my uh, friend, Desiree de Lune. She uh, recommends tea tree right here on the inside creases of your wrist really to help set some really good energetic boundaries. And so um, I did that this morning um, and I will make sure to do it more. But if you've got sage, obviously you can clear your energy with some sage or selenite is my, is my uh, third uh, favorite way to uh, clear my energy. So just keep your, keep your energy clear, especially as people are, are moving through our, our emotions over the next uh, few days, especially the next 24 hours. But really beautiful time to connect in with your dreams, to connect in with what you desire and step, my friend, step into that future. All right. This wraps up this video for our new moon in Taurus. If you would like to learn more about Taurus energy, more about how to work with this energy, I have got a beautiful uh, guidebook that I put out every single month about our current season. And so our Taurus guidebook is out. You can go to the peaceteacher.com forward slash guidebook. It'll be down in the description box for you. Um, it's absolutely free. It's got uh, all about the Taurus energy, all about the season. So it's got the movements of Mars and Mercury and all the other planets. It's also got some um, essential oils to work with, some pairings to work with over this season to enhance and balance out our Taurus energy. Uh, I love essential oils. I love working with natural medicine. I'm not somebody who is a big pharma girl. I'm definitely somebody who's going to look for a natural solution first. So that's you. Check those out because um, they work on an emotional, not only a physical level, but an emotional level too, which is really beautiful. And then we've got um, some crystals. If you're a crystal lover like me, um, we've got some crystals in there to work with this energy. And then we finally got some journal prompts in there that you can do for, it's one for every single week that you can work with and kind of explore your Taurus energy. Uh, if you're not sure where your Taurus energy is, I do um, offer readings to give you some insights into what that looks like. That'll be down in the description box as well. All right, my friend, that wraps us up. Thank you so much for watching this full video all the way till the end. Be sure to let me know that you're here. Uh, just let me know what you're excited about for this season, uh, what maybe your intention is for this new moon. And with that, my friend, close your eyes and take a deep breath with me. And release and find. Peace.